This is AA Beyond Belief, the podcast, and I'm John S., your host. Today is episode zero, where we'll take a look back at the great work of Roger C. on AA Agnostica, and then look forward at what lies ahead for this site, AA Beyond Belief. We hope you enjoy. Hello, and thank you for visiting uh, AA Beyond Belief. Uh, no doubt you got here uh, via a link uh, from AA Agnostica after reading Roger C.'s article about his needing a break and introducing this new site. Um, if that came to a su- as a surprise to you, um, imagine how I felt a couple of months ago when Roger told me that he wanted to stop posting new articles on AA Agnostica, and he asked if I would consider um, starting up a successor site to AA Agnostica where he could um, refer people to um, once he stops publishing. Um, That was quite an honor for him to come to me and and trust me with something like that, Um, but it was also quite frightening. Um, you see, I do not have Roger's intellect, his editorial ability. I don't know the people that he knows. Um, you know, I don't have the managerial skills that he has. Um, he did such an exceptional job with AA Agnostica. I mean, that was the New York Times of AA websites. (laughs) There was never a misspelled word, everything, the perfect grammar. It was just, you know, the stories were well done, well edited. Um, It was just an amazing site, and it was an important site, AA Agnostica. It was, you know, when you you start Googling for atheist in AA or agnostics in AA, um, you're going to find a link to AA Agnostica. Um, That is the place to go if you want to learn about um, Alcoholics Anonymous um, through the eyes of an atheist, agnostic, or freethinker. It's the place to go to connect with others, and to learn that you're not alone, that you can stay in AA if you so choose, um, that this is indeed a broad highway that we travel. So AA Agnostica, you know, it's read by a lot of people um, out there in in AA, and not just uh, those of us who are non-believers, not just the secular people, but even the believers read it. I mean, Roger would publish articles uh, on AA history that anybody would enjoy reading. I mean, it didn't matter what you believed or didn't believe. So what a great site. And very humbling. Um, I will never be able to to recreate what was done on AA Agnostica, nor should should we try. So uh, thank you for visiting AA Beyond Belief. I thought I should tell you just a little bit about myself. I don't want to go to too much length with it. Um, I've been a member of Alcoholics Anonymous since uh, 1988, and um, I've been sober since that time. And uh, I have been very traditional or orthodox in my AA program. I went to a group that studied the 12 and 12 in the big book, you know, meeting with our sponsors and highlighting and and reading repetitiously. And I guess trying to replicate what the original uh, members did with the steps uh, when they first wrote them, Uh, trying to be, you know, as authentic as we could. So I know the literature really well. Um, You know, I've got a lot of it unintentionally memorized. Um, I I was never a um, strong believer in God. Um, I don't know a lot about religion. Didn't grow up going to church, um, but I did fake it. You know, tried to fake it till I made it uh, for a couple of decades. Um, I always kept the open mind that perhaps there is a God, and I acted as if there was one. Whether or not I believe it, I don't know. But anyway, a couple of years ago, I, I came to the conclusion that I don't believe it. That I am in fact an atheist, and. That was a tough thing to come to terms with at the time because I, I at first I thought, you know, half my life has been spent in AA and suddenly um, how was I going to do this thing? Well, I found out it really wasn't that difficult. You know, thanks to sites like AA Agnostica, I learned that, you know, you, you can you can look at the steps in a different way. And, and I, I started writing the steps out in my own language. You know, something I might not have ever thought about doing had I not seen it done and, and posted on AA Agnostica. And I think that's a great exercise that, you know, anybody should do that. 
who wants to work the steps. You should write them out. You know, what do you think? What do they mean to you? So that's what I did. And, um, it was, it was great. And, and I, and I went through the big book and, you know, there's a lot of it I found that I, I couldn't use, but there's a lot of it I could use. Um, and, uh, you know, it was no longer a sacred text to me. I didn't have to follow it. Um, you know, verbatim. <laughs> um, in fact, to be honest with you, I, I don't read it much anymore. And the reason I don't read it is because it's been used as a weapon against me. And I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, when, when I, uh, stopped believing in God, I, 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 I became pretty comfortable with myself, um, with being an atheist and my new outlook on AA. I was very comfortable with, you know, it's other people that have kept me sober and they are my higher power. And I was very comfortable with that. I had no problem with that, but I would go to meetings and, you know, we'd have the, the, the topic would always be taken from the daily reflections book or something like that. And, um, often, uh, very centered on the supernatural deity, um, that I think that, you know, they really stress, we believe in a supernatural God. Um, but anyway, uh, I started sharing, not, I wouldn't come out and say openly that I was an atheist because I was afraid of the rejection that I might get from people, but I did begin sharing about, you know, from the pers- my new perspective, and I wasn't talking that AA talk that we all know that can make everybody in the room bob their head up and down with agreement, um, and I noticed that as I was sharing my new views, um, people would come after me and they would share almost a contradictory message and quoting from the literature as if they were setting me straight. Now, I don't know if this is in fact what they were doing. Maybe it wasn't intentional. Maybe it was all in my mind, but that's how I felt. And I no longer felt comfortable in AA. I no longer felt comfortable with my home group. So, um, anyway, in AA Agnostica and other sites, I learned that, you know, they have these agnostic AA groups. And so I approached Jim C and we started a group here in Kansas city, uh, the we agnostics group. And it's just been the best experience uh, since I've been in AA. Uh, one of the best experiences of my life to see people get better, myself included, um, get benefit from that group. So that's where I'm at right now. And, um, so let's talk about, um, AA beyond belief. Um, this site is not my site. I don't want it to be my site. I want it to be your site. I want it to be our site. I want it to be a place like AA Agnostica, a community of um, atheists, agnostics, and free thinkers in AA. We're not an official AA site. I mean, we're not part of the general service structure. We're not a central office. We're nothing like that. We're just a group of people who are getting together and talking about AA and our experience in AA. We're just sharing our experience with each other. And it's a great place for us to learn about ourselves, for us to learn about each other, but it's also a good place for the the rest of AA to learn about us. So when you look at the site today, you're going to notice a lot of blank space. There's not a lot out there. Um, Just one article on the front page. But going forward, that space will fill up with articles, articles that you will be writing um, and articles that you will be reading. <laughs> and uh, so the, the front page is going to have the new story. Every week we'll publish a story on, on Sunday, and that will be on the very front page of the site um, in a, with a big image, and it'll say, uh, new this week. And then just below that will be all the previous stories, and they'll all be on the front page, just like you had at AA Agnostica. Um, So you can read in date order on down. You can also search by category, uh, because each story will be um, fitted with a category on the blog. So you can go to the menu, search by category, and find the, the type of story that you're wanting to read. So it could be AA history, it could be personal stories, you know, it could be the steps, the traditions, whatever. Um, and you can find you can find it on our site. But it's going to take a while. It's going to be some work. Um, so we also um, hope to have a podcast um, that will broadcast weekly. Um, we need people for that, by the way, uh, to help host that, because my voice is not a good radio voice, um, and I don't have the 
a good mind for um, asking great questions as an interviewer. So I'm not the great best podcaster in the world, but we do need people to do that. I think it would be a great thing to do to be able to interview the people who post here, um, that write the stories here, that comment on the stories here. Um, maybe um, to interview people who disagree with us, who write to us in disagreement. Um, it would be fun to interview the authors of the books that we read and um, other people in AA, whether they be a believer or not. Uh, maybe it would be fun to talk to some of the uh, real uh, conservative uh, folks in AA who don't believe in what we do or don't believe in us or don't like us. You know, I think that that we should talk about all kinds of things in that podcast, but we should also have fun. We should laugh. Um, we should have humor um, all the time. You know, not, we shouldn't take, take ourselves too seriously or anything else. So um, I hope that you enjoy the site. I hope that um, you're not too sad that AA Agnostica won't be posting. Um, Roger isn't going to go away completely. He will still be helping out with this site. I hope that he'll still be writing, that he'll still help us with editing, that he'll still give advice because his expertise is invaluable. And I just want to thank Roger for everything that he's done uh, for the fellowship, for the agnostic, the atheist, and the free thinker in AA. And uh, thank him for all the great work that he did on AA Agnostica and for um, trusting us to um, carry on in his work. So um, stay tuned, um, stay involved, and I will. Uh, we will chat again soon. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for today. We hope you come back next week, hopefully, for another episode of AA Beyond Belief, the podcast.